Previously on Divorce Court. I understand that a huge issue in your union is his mother. Yes. Don't come into a relationship line. She came in line. He thought she had one child. Come to find out, she had four children. Like I said, you fake. You see him saying, your grandkids, he has responsibilities. What do you do besides try to meddle in somebody's business? You need well, to get I a man of your what? own. Mr. Brown, uh, do you feel caught in the middle of your woman and your mother? Divorce court is now in session. We are reconvening in the matter of Brown versus Ward. We have talked about a lot of things that are wrong in the, in the union. Uh, we have Mrs. Uh, Greaves here, who is the mother of Mr. Brown. We were talking about a number of things, but my understanding is, Mrs. Ward, you believe that she dips into everything. Yes. Yeah. My understanding is you believe the financial situation is jacked up, and she's the reason that it's jacked up. Yes. Why don't you explain to me why you believe that? It's jacked up because of the fact that she came in with debt on child support, and she wants my son to help her pay child support. She actually needs to work and, and needs to take care of her own responsibility. That's not my son's responsibility. His responsibility is to take care of his actual children, which he actually does. But in terms of her wanting him to be a stay-home dad, I didn't raise him to be a home a homebody. I raised him to work and pay bills and do what a man's supposed to do. Oh, my God. Now, Mrs. Ward, give me a second. Can you understand how a mother would be concerned that her son is paying for another man's kids and that the girlfriend is getting him fired all the time. It seems that you're throwing roadblocks into his smooth road of existence. Okay. Yes, I understand that, but it has nothing to do with her. If he chooses to be with me and stay, that is his business. That's not hers. And what goes our finances and our money does not have anything to do with her because she's not giving us not a damn penny. And while we're speaking about our finances, Go right she, ahead. Should, she shouldn't even be in here because she don't pay no bills. Right. Right. Let me, let me ask you this, Ms. Ward. What do you believe is the one topic about which she intervenes that she really needs to stop? All of them. All it's of them. It's not her business. Uh-huh. Do you expect him not to speak to his mother no, at all? No, I do not. What? That's his mother. Right. If he wants to go and spend time with her, go ahead and spend time with if her. If she agrees. If she agrees. He can go to her <laughs> house, but guess can. who cannot go to her house? My children can't go. Around. That's not true. What? Why won't you let her? Because go to she her only house? accepts the four-year-old. She does not accept the other two. And my my kids are not going nowhere around nobody that does not like her, like me. And as far not as true. my four-year-old, she won't be going over there either because my four-year-old comes back home and say, "Oh, mommy, I was told that you're a bad mommy. Not true. Daddy is a bad daddy. Not true. And they came from between my legs. I carried them for nine months and I pushed them out. So where I say goes. Now, and Brown, in the state of Florida, grandparents do not have no rights. Ms. Greaves, now, 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 I, I want you to think about it. Do you speak ill of those children's yes. mother while they're in the home with you? No, I do not, Your Honor. I do not speak negative. As a matter of fact, I basically, what I do is I have a talk with them about family. I try to take them to church if she allows it. Again, no. she's very manipulating. For example, if she can't have her way, the same way she it wants to no control way. my son, is the same. She wants to control everybody except for herself. It's okay for her to do wrong, but it's not quite okay for anyone else to do wrong. So if she can control her children, control me, then she's okay. She cannot control me. So as far as the finance concern, again, he tries to work. He even went on a, a, another case where she's very insecure is that she, he actually went to barber school. He wanted to be a barber. She was so insecure in terms of him being a barber that she went and signed up for barber school just to watch him to see in if he school. had, to see if in he had any girls that in wanted to school. sign him. In the school. Did you sign up for barber school yes, so you I can did. keep an eye on Mr. Mr. Brown? Yes, and why she's talking about that, I was pregnant, working, and going to barber school, and when he needed expensive clippers for barber school. They didn't come out of her pocket. They came out of mine. I go to work every day, rain, storm, whatever. Went to work, made money, and went to school. And came and gave him for my how money. long? I ain't really made no money. Girl, it ain't Do you want to Let for me ask you a question. Do you want to live your entire life in mortal fear of him coming into contact with women so that everything you do has to revolve around 
keeping an eye on him? It's not the point of me keeping an eye on him. It's the way you do things. Because I come in contact with men and women every day. It's men that, men gonna, a man gonna be a man and a woman gonna be a woman. A hoe gonna be a hoe and a, a, man, a dog gonna be a dog. And one thing I'm not... Do you think he's a dog? No, he's just sneaky. He just sneaky? Yes. So you don't trust him? It's not that uh-huh. I don't trust him. It's so just that trust, what, what I feel the like it's not, no, there's not no way, there's not no reason for me not to trust him because if I want to go on any social media sites, they're there. They're open. If he wants to go on my social media site, they're open. But she controls his don't want to. That doesn't make any sense. You say you trust him, but you have to quit what you're doing to go on his job. And have access How is that trust? I didn't stop what I was doing because I ain't going nowhere. I was at home. One time, she took his keys in his car. And threw them at him. Stop. And threw threw them in the canal so that he couldn't leave because she thought he was going to see another woman. I had to call Mm -hmm. AAA to have his car towed. She got I upset when it got towed and came and slashed the tires and said, okay, your mom moved the truck, so now I'ma just cut the tires. So now you can't move. Wow. Insecure. One did thing you do? No, no, no. Him. Never cut a tire. Yes, Took a did. tag, put sugar in a gas tank, but never slashed the tire, baby. Insecure. Never slashed the tire. The first car Anything I, I have done to him, the I can remember car. what I have done, and I swear on all my, I have never slashed the tire. Do, do you know if what I'm gonna slash somebody's tires, though. it'll be hers. Oh. See what I'm saying? Do you know what I find strange? Well, I find a lot of things strange, but... Thank you. That you're very... You want to make sure I know you haven't slashed a tire. Now, I'll put sugar in the tank, but I yes. haven't slashed a the tire. <laughs> They're both I'm crazy. I'm Thank honest. You. But she don't need to lie and say I slashed the tire because I did not slash a tire. And... Yes, I guess it has automatic deflation. Maybe you sl- you slashed it. You talking about it. You don't no. want to know it was slashed because no. I never knew anything no. about a slash tire. He, okay, I, I get that y'all don't like each other. I don't know nothing about it. It's, it's not but that I, it's He don't even know nothing about a slash yeah, tire. Was, well, I, I, I want to talk about that. I want about to talk about her ways and what you think she's doing to manipulate your son and how you think it's <laughs> going to make him baby. turn out to be less than he could. His mother demanded that he get a DNA test on your children. Yes. Is that accurate? And she came to the hospital and was like, when are we getting a DNA? I know where it it came from, and I know all three of those belong to him. Mr. Brown, were you concerned as to whether or not those children were yours? do you think is the damage she's doing to your son's future? She's not allowing him to be the man that he wants to be, the provider that he wants to be for his children. She wants him to be her child. She wants him to be a boy. He's the type of man that she's never had before, like my son is. So she's not accustomed to a man that works a real job, that wants to provide, to love his children. She's not, she's not accustomed to that. My, my son embraces his children with love. They love him. They cry for him. She's not accustomed to a man doing that. And that's the home that he comes from, a loving, God-fearing home. And that's the problem where she has the issue. At- It got so bad one time to the fact that my son had to be in the hospital because she was driving him crazy to the point where he had to be hospitalized mm-hmm. and she had to be banned from the hospital. Mm-hmm. Because of her. But well, who was banned from the hospital? What happened at the hospital, the hospital, hospital that got you banned? Oh, I was let her have it and tell her who can't come there, who can. Because I'm the boss. The... <laughs> Not her. So when she want to be the boss, I let her do boss things. Yeah. You make your own decisions. Yeah. Don't right. ask Real me nothing. Thing. You know, right. Because I'm right. not getting into right. that. I understand, though, Ms. Ward, that his mother demanded that he get a DNA test on your children. Yes. Is that accurate? And she came to the hospital and was like, when are we getting a DNA? We can run it. Run it however you want it. Because I know who I slept with, unlike her. But anyways, like I said, I know where it it came from, and I know all three of those belong to him. Mr. Brown, were you concerned as to whether or not those children were yours? If someone gets pregnant from me, as she did, how I was brought up, I always get DNA. I don't care if we've been together 10 years, 24 seven, I don't Always check. Always check to make sure that that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Even though I knew did it was... Did the request come from you or did it no. come from your mother? Because no, I do understand that she's your mother and she wants the best from you, but at some point you have to say, hey, 
these are my decisions. You need to sit down and let me handle my business. Have you done that? Yes. Yeah, I have. Um, because I really stick with what goes on in the house between me and her. Um, only time I do call my mama is if I really, really need her. And that's hardly never, because like you said, I'm a man. I know what I'm doing. I should know what I'm doing. And I do what I, I try to do what I need to do. Okay. Well, I understand. Now that we are talking about children, I want to talk a little bit about how you raise them, because I understand that you two do not agree on the methods or the discipline that you use with the children. So that's what I want to talk about next. Ms. Ms. Ward, I wouldn't give you a nickel for what you know. You are a nice lady. You are absolutely beautiful. But you run fully and completely on your emotions. And mm -hmm. you frighten me with that. Is it important to be accepted by your partner's mother? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. Ms. Ward, you say that there's disagreement in the home about how to raise children. You say that he's harder on the children you don't share together than on the ones you do share together. Is that accurate? Um. Or harder on the boys than the girls. Yes. That, that, that's that's it. more yeah. like it. Well, why do you say he's harder on the because on males? Because he says that I baby my boy, my son. A lot. Um, he says that I'm going to make him solve this and that because if they be in the room playing and I hear one scream, stop, I'm going to run to see the to see what he's doing and not pay attention to the girls. Now, when he come in the room, they be like, Daddy, he did this, and he automatically just take their side because it's more of them and just one of him. They lying. Mm -hmm. My son ain't bothering them. They just end up playing. She he's such a precious mm -hmm. little angel. <laughs> Why he do bad. you say that, that, that she, she babies him and, and it's going to make him soft? She do. Um, Give she, me an example. For instance, the other day, he want to play. He liked to fight and wrestle. And so he came home, and we playing. I'm playing with him. She coming up, leave him alone. Let him be. What you mean? He's a boy. He's supposed to be. What? You got did all you, girls did in you the want house? them to play fight and wrestle? No. When he play fight, and my baby on the ground talking about stop, he's laughing, but he telling him to stop. He's steady punching. Because simple fact, he want to keep going after we stop. And then when I tell him to stop, my baby will wait for him to stop and then get up and catch him off guard. Exactly. So it's not like I'm telling them to. It's not like I'm upholding him. I'm actually giving him, trying to pull him away so he can get up and attack back. You can't. I'm not, not going to stand there and just let, 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 Let's say this. Not your gig. She I'm going to talk to both of you ladies right now, because we got a problem in our community. I, I, you may want to claim it. You may not want to claim it, but I see it all the time. Don't go in there and pamper that boy. If they want to play fight, let them play fight. Thank you don't you. have to give them an advantage in the argument. They, they, this man loves that kid. You're He's right. not hurting them. And, if you, and if you get in the habit of rescuing him and rescuing him and rescuing gonna him, to you're going to hobble him. Mm -hmm. You're going to make sure that he's, he's going to always look for you to, 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 to tip the balance, tip the scale That's in his favor. And we've got a whole strata of young men out there and they all come through divorce court, one woman to another. And if the women that he's dealing with aren't good to him, he goes back home, but he doesn't have a home of his own. And that's because of that behavior right Oh, no, right I'm not going to be one of those type of parents. But you say that. No, I know that. But you started that. Ms. Ward, I wouldn't give you a nickel for what you know. <laughs> you are a nice lady. You are absolutely beautiful. But you run fully and completely on your emotions. You don't think, you feel, and you do. And mm -hmm. you frighten me with that. And mm -hmm. that's the problem that you're not willing to recognize. And I think you need to do that. What would you do if your partner and your mother were always fighting? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mrs. Greaves, we are coming to the end of the proceeding. I'm going to ha ask you to have a seat, both literally and figuratively. Okay. You do need to have a seat. 
I understand what you need and want, but you've, you, but you've raised them already. Mm -hmm. Too much dipping is going to cause him more trouble. Please, have a seat. Thank you, though. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> I believe in what you believe. I believe in what you want for him. I'm just saying that you've burned your bridge. Let me try to build a new one. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mr. Brown, you want $1,700 to replace the engine in your car that she destroyed when she put sugar in it. Tell me about that. Uh, basically, that's what she did. She um, put sugar in the tank. <laughs> she put sugar in the tank. Well, actually, it was water, actually. Um, sugar water? Or yeah. Uh, however she well, did she it. She disabled the engine. Yeah, she basically. How did you disable the engine? Uh, actually, it wasn't disabled at first because he did not drive it. In order for it to be disabled, you have to drive it to let it get down in there. It sat she in knows the, it sat in the gas tank for a couple of days because his grandmother saw me pour it in there. So she wouldn't allow him to drive it. So they towed it, had it, the gas can cleaned. Uh -huh. Whoever cleaned it did not clean it well because the stuff got to the engine yeah. because it broke down two months later. Yeah. And if, if, we, if he would have drove it when I did it, it would have broke down right then and there. That was the motive. But I done ran through. I, I got it. I respect your struggle. You become so frightened that you will end up without a guy because they're rare and precious, that you become obsessed with the idea that he's going to go somewhere. Then you behave in a manner that's not rational. And you learn all the ratchet behaviors that are designed to secure your position. It doesn't secure your position, but you engage in them anyway because that's the script that you read off of in the community that you're in. I want you to take a look at your behaviors and those in the community in which you live and decide whether or not those are the kind of behaviors that you would like your children to do. Do you want your daughter to be as insecure and frightened and angry and running around like you do? I would think not. This brother loves you. Trust and believe in him. And if he doesn't love you enough to stay with you, if you don't have him on a short leaf, he ain't worth keeping anyway. Believe that. <laughs> Best of luck to both of you. Oh, I cannot, I cannot give you that $1,700 because I don't have enough. I mean, I'm sure she did disable your car, but a whole lot happened in between, and I'm not sure what happened. You, you ain't leaving her anyway. Uh, don't do that no more. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't have enough nexus. I don't have any repair bills. I don't have anything. You both said, she said, she said it didn't happen directly because of that. I don't really know. I don't want you to exchange money. I want you to have a conversation. Good God. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. Javari's mother always and still does need to remain in her place and mind her business. In the courtroom, she said that I was manipulating him. It's not called manipulation. It's called being a good woman because I cook, I clean, and I know how to handle my business. The judge pointed out to me that I lead with my anger and not what I'm supposed to lead with. I guess I would have to use more thinking than just acting. I do want to make it work. I didn't, but it's gonna take a lot of time. Um, she just needs to really like get it together as far as attitude and um, Insecurity. insecurities and all the, the things that yeah, we yeah. talked about in the, in the courtroom.